five this morning. But he didn't. He waked us. He woke. He waked us. He woke us up at seven. Good morning, there, folks. It is obviously a new year. Both had breakfast. He's obviously gone off to work, and I'm obviously at home. It is a new year, obviously. Um, it's the time where people start making New Year's resolutions and goals and targets to achieve for the year. Uh, it's not that I'm against New Year's resolutions, I'm not. I'm all for, you know, it's a new year, it's a new start, all that clean slate malarkey. And I'm all for setting targets and goals that you want to achieve throughout the year. What I'm against is, you, if you want to change something in your life, you shouldn't have to wait for a new year. That's the only thing I'm against. Like. I want to go into the gym six days a week and it was, you know, in the new year, after Christmas, we'll get back on it, we'll get back, no. Let's get back on it through Christmas. We didn't eat a massive amount of junk food. We didn't drink a lot. I was still going into the gym. You know, there isn't really an overindulgence. And I, you know, and that's how I wanted to go into the new year with the already kind of scheduled out I was going into the gym six days a week so that when it came to the new year it wasn't like a shock and I was already amped for it that's the only like if you want to go on a diet why wait till Monday just start now wake up and just start you shouldn't have to wait for the new year but it is a new year and I'm all for setting targets and goals and that is exactly what me and Matthew have done I've obviously got all of my macros I'm back on macros I'm back on this list the only thing on this list that I am going to eat is iceberg lettuce is on this list for no apparent reason um, so I am gonna eat iceberg lettuce because it doesn't really give me indigestion everything else on that list I'm gonna try and steer away for and or as eat as minimal as possible because I'm not one of these people with all the healthy eating and diet stuff I'm not one of these people that like to cut it out from the diet I'm all about moderation so I like Matthew cut out drinking like when we went home for Sarah's wedding, I think we were both in pretty good shape. And like Matthew just quit drinking for eight months. And I was like, I can't do that because I like a good drink. Or, you know, oh, we'll just stop eating chocolate. Well, I like a piece of chocolate every now and again. For me, it's all about moderation. I'm not gonna be eating chocolate every day or I'm not gonna be eating crisps every day or I'm not gonna be eating chips and, and burgers and five foods every day. It's kind of like a every, every now and again occasion, which is what I think was so good about Christmas. Like I said, we weren't, binging over Christmas. We didn't really drink a lot of alcohol. Yes, we do have a lot of alcohol in the house, but we don't really drink it. I used to drink a glass of whiskey a night. I don't now. I drink a cup of tea before I go to bed because I'm old. You have other goals besides the gym. You know, we are renovating now and it's, we're gonna be renovating the bedroom and it's, it's kind of one of those things where we start a project and we don't really finish it. So another goal of ours is we're going to start finishing projects, marking down goals, you know, let's save some money, but maybe we want to go do a bit more traveling and, you know, we have a wedding to plan, maybe we should plan that, you know, we're going to renovate the bedroom, let's get it renovated, we say we're going to do it, let's do it, we're going to start a project, let's finish it, obviously we now have a lot of wood in the garage to build furniture, maybe we could get up at five and go into the gym, do all of our exercise, go off to work, stay at home until I find a job and then on an evening he could build furniture or he could do something else I could edit and he, there's always time in the day to do stuff so that's kind of where we're at you know there isn't really a, a, a great lot of choice out here for jobs for me my visa does restrict some things you know I can't go to school I can't work in school like can't work with kids can't work in agriculture and Obviously, I do one of one of my New Year's resolutions or goals or target is to get a job. The trouble is out here, we're in the middle of nowhere. We are in the boonies. We're in prairies. There's nothing around. The nearest city is three hours away. You know, the nearest town is an hour away. There isn't a right lot to do. There isn't a right lot to see, and there isn't a right lot of jobs. Yes, my visa does restrict some things. The trouble is. I get bored. I get super bored. And this is evidence from back home as well. Yes, back home I did stay in the restaurant industry. I, I love the restaurant industry back home. Here, not so much because it's all different. But the longest job I have ever had is two and a half years. Which when you think about it, I started work at what? 15, 16? I'm 25. I'm 26. 
26. In years, 11 years I've been working, the longest job I've ever had is two and a half years, and that was the owl in Hamblin. And I loved that job, but I moved because I, I didn't like the new managers that came in, and I got bored. This is the job that I was in before I quit. There was only me there. Yes, I was doing everything, but unfortunately with the new managers, we kind of lost clientele, which meant for eight hours a day, I was stood at a till. To me, that's boring. You know, you might walk around and face the shelves a few times a day, but it, it doesn't take as long as it used to because there's not many people coming in and buying things. So I just get super bored, and then I start to think, and then I'm just like, you know what, I'm done. But as soon as I make my mind up, I'm done. I wanted to leave the owl, I left. I wanted to leave Pelly grocery store, I left. Like, probably wait until I get a job, then quit, yes, but I just get super bored really easily. And there's, there's nothing much that kind of grabs my attention and keeps me in a job for a while. So I need to find something that I enjoy doing that's going to keep me around for a while. If I could find something working from home, that would be awesome. If I could find something maybe in photography and videography, that would even be awesome. More awesome than a... Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of editing, look for some jobs, and then go into the gym. Maybe play Battlefront. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I am currently in the office slash junk slash storage slash wardrobe slash everything room currently using the big computer when we first got the big computer we bought two two terabyte hard drives one for matthew one for myself i basically kind of took hold of both so matthew has 255 gigabytes left and i only have 124 this is my hard drive so i need to buy an external hard drive all right good morning there folks I would show my face, but I have a nose strip on and I've just got out of a shower. As you can see, I'm very red. But, obviously, Matthew is obviously at work. What I'm going to do right now is we went shopping yesterday and bought some food. Obviously, Matthew is away next week, so we didn't buy a right lot of food. We did buy six heads of lettuce because it's the only lettuce they had. And we're trying to get back on this fitness lifestyle thing. What I'm going to do today is, because obviously I'm still at home, um, we've got a lot to do, but we bought these yesterday, these chicken drumsticks. Now I know chicken drumsticks aren't massively healthy for you. We were going to buy like a, a joint of beef or pork, but I said no because I'm getting bored of eating beef and pork. And then we were going to buy some chicken breasts, but they were like $30 and then we were going to buy... 3kg boxes of chicken that are also $30, but they wouldn't have defrosted in time for today. This doesn't close properly. It's awesome. So we bought these chicken drumsticks, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some in the slow cooker with some curry sauce or something in there. I'm going to keep some plain, maybe just a little bit of salt and pepper, and then I'm going to do some in a different sauce. Just because then there's a little bit of variety in there, and then what I'm also going to do is we've got some mints here and I'm going to cook up the mints just so that we have food that we can grab and pick out. We've got some spaghetti left, you know, we can have like, obviously, crap ton of salad from now on. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to do right now. And then I'm going to phone the vets because he's going to run out of pills on Tuesday, so I need to phone the vets. Also, I had a little, of, little bit of an incident with this crap that we bought. This is like a... $500 spin bike that we bought from Canadian Tire. We bought it in August. The last day of August, because we bought it when f the, we dropped parents off at the, uh, at the airport. And I was cycling yesterday and this came off, so I kind of just put it back on. But it's supposed to go under this. And then Matthew was going to do some cardio while we played Star Wars, but <clears throat> he couldn't fix it, so that's buggered. Room was over there, buggered. I've got the chicken cooking. Um, I've measured the gym equipment that Matthew is going to try and get the mechanic at work to build us something for it instead of buying expensive equipment. I've got the dog booked into the vets tomorrow. Should get some more pills uh, and a checkup. Um, what I'm trying to do now is while that chicken's cooking, I'm trying to find the receipt for the bike. Now, the trouble is, we do have a filing cabinet. The trouble is, this room is only a mess because there's clothes everywhere and the clothes kind of pile in front of it. So we haven't really been able to like organize the files and stuff. Get Matthew and myself, not just Matthew. Matthew does have more clothes. 
but I'll get both of us to kind of go through all of the clothes, throw out the ones we don't want or don't wear or don't fit us. So I've been looking for the bike receipt for about 10 minutes and I found it. It's pretty awesome. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, I've just turned the chicken over, added some more sauce. This is looking good. Oh yeah. Mango, we've got mango curry chicken, some plain chicken and then some honey garlic chicken. I was gonna do butter but Two curries kind of just didn't really make sense. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna do that washing up. I'm so happy that I found it within like 10 minutes because you've got a lot of files. Do you want to go outside? Is that it? You want to go outside? Because it's. You went out an hour. You went out an hour ago. What do you want?